and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to take a look at the trends for 2023. I love doing a video on this like early every new year. If you've been on my channel for a while you probably know but I don't personally think that trends are what's the right word here? Not that important and I definitely don't think they are some sort of measure of whether someone has style or not. For me I love looking at trends and be inspired by them and if I like any of them, I will incorporate them into my style, but only if it's something I want to keep wearing even when the trend dies down. Otherwise, it just feels too excessive and not sustainable and I would never purchase clothing intending to wear it for only one season. That makes absolutely no sense to me. That is probably enough on that. That's just my view of trends before we start. So let's get into it. I'm going to try to make it a little bit more interesting this year. I wanted to do a sort of ranking. It just feels very casual and fun. And please know that if you do feel like I'm a little bit mean here, um, I often find myself gravitating towards trends I previously hated. So I'm only mocking myself. So I'm gonna rank these trends. Let me know what you think. Let's discuss. I'm gonna go through the tiers. At the top here we have love, which is self-explanatory. I contemplated calling this timeless because I definitely feel like the best trends are the ones that have some sort of longevity to them. Then I would, I put, I would wear this, which there are a lot of trends that I already own pieces in my wardrobe. I will wear them. I love them. The third one is I liked on other people. There are a lot of trends that I think are cool and fun and I love seeing them on other people. I just, I don't feel good in them myself. Then I have meh, which is just take it or leave it. I don't feel very inspired. I don't really understand why it's here. I have hit or miss because sometimes I feel like a trend can look good, like an overall aesthetic can good, look good in some pieces, but other directions it's just not good. Then I have not even if I owned it and I do have things that were previously trendy and they are now coming back in style and I still hate them and why have I kept them? I need to take a look at that. The final tier is just absolutely not and I do have reasons for this. I do have reasons and they will all become clear. So let's start with the first one and that is lace, eyelet lace. I think this is such a beautiful detail and again it's not super new. I am going to put this in the category I would wear this. I really love these lace details. I think they're fairly versatile and something you could definitely keep wearing even if the trend kind of dies down. And then you might have noticed that a lot of stores are now doing cargo trousers. They have become so so popular and I think this is something I will put in the hit or miss category because this is kind of part of an overall more Y2K utility trend we are seeing and as part of that you're seeing a lot of these cargo pockets on like everything on shirts and jackets and for me I just feel like if you're going all the way with the whole Y2K utility trend it can very quickly look quite costumey. I don't know I just think it looks a little bit off but I am loving the cargo trousers. I think they are phenomenal. I love them. I already have a couple of cargo trousers myself. Then we have the trend of denim and I don't even know what else to call it because there is just so much denim. There is denim on denim, more relaxed denim and hmm, I love the look on other people so I think that is where I'm going to have to place it. For me I will experiment more with the more loose and flowy denim pieces but I don't think I'm just I'm just not like a super denim-y person to begin with. I love seeing other people wear a denim shirt and jeans. It just it I've never felt like that works on me. I put it on and I just don't feel like myself. I feel like people have worn denim on denim for a really really long time and I've not been able to pull it off any of those times that it has been popular so I don't know. We also have the low waist anything. It felt more like a shock last year. I thought 
surely nobody will wear this. This is just something we see and then it will go away, right? It's going to go away. It didn't, it didn't. I'm going to explain why I'm going to put this in the absolutely not category. I'm not ready for this to come back and I feel like it's so popular with the younger generation and I remember being like a tween and the low waist jeans was everything and I felt so ugly all the time. Low waist jeans just traumatized us as a society. It coupled with this body image that was incredibly unhealthy and very, very, very slim. And I think that's the thing for me. The low waist feels like it comes with the, it, it comes hand in hand with a body trend. And I think that is what I am reacting to the most really. So if you love low waist, I think that is amazing and keep wearing it. People certainly do look good in it. I just have a particular hate for this. I'm not gonna lie. So it's going in the bottom category. It's staying there. And then we have the trend of sheer. This is another trend I feel like keeps coming back. I do love sheer pieces. It's shown with a lot of pieces where the sheer is just layered over your outfit underneath. So I think it's great that you can kind of be as risque as you want. You don't necessarily have to feel like I have to show off my body if I'm going to wear something sheer. Where do I place this? I like it, but also I feel like it can be a little bit much. I feel like it can look a little bit messy. It's very sort of specific instances where I feel like it looks good, but that is to my personal preference. I'm gonna put it in hit or miss because I think it is. I think it can look fantastic and it can look kind of what's going on here. Let's talk about the lug sole, the chunky sole, the chunky shoe in general, platform shoes. They were really popular last year and I feel like we've had this progression really. This definitely feels like a trend that's it's not new. It's just building on what was before and I kind of love it. I was really skeptical to the chunky shoe when the chunky sneaker was a thing. Then when I tried it, I felt like it was surprisingly flattering. So now I do have chunky platform sneakers and loafers and boots. I will keep wearing them. The only thing I have is that a lot of them are kind of heavy. So they can be a little bit uncomfortable to wear for a very long time. My caveat to this is I've seen that somebody is trying to make wedge sneakers come back and honestly, what did we ever do to you? Can you please? That's hateful, it's hateful. Make them go back, I hate them, I hate them. I love all the chunky shoes, but not the wedge sneaker. I think it's awful. I find this kind of weird, especially with all of these Y2K trends coming back because I remember that area. I don't tend to have a lot of nostalgia for it. I tend to remember it as, ha ha, that was funny. And let's not repeat most of that. I think that's why I'm feeling really disconnected to a lot of the trends right now. I definitely have pretty much zero nostalgia for that era. Maybe everybody else had a much better life than me at that point, but I do not miss it. Either way, just can we not with those sneakers? Can we not? So as you probably gathered, I'm going to put those sneakers in absolutely not. But every other chunky shoe I think I love. Sticking with accessories for a second, big bags are coming back and I feel like they've kind of been sneaking back a little bit over the past couple of years after we had the like micro 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 bags. Things tend to shift to the extreme so we're moving to the larger bags. I'm all for this. I think they're really cool. I'm probably going to put it in I would wear because I do have some larger bags that I love but this is not a trend that is particularly flattering to me like the really really big bags because I'm quite short and I feel like it just tends to make me look even more like I ran away from my mommy and uh, that's not the look I tend to try to aim for. But I think these like oversized huge clutches that are even, are they even clutches? They're like pouch bags. I think they'll look amazing on the runway. I don't know how practical they would be. So maybe I would put some of those like in, I love them and other people. Maybe we're gonna put them on, I love them and other people just for the like extreme end of this trend. Bucket hats seem to continue their popularity or at least be in style for this year as well. They were really popular in 2022. I did not look any better in them then than I probably do now. This is not for me. I feel like this is not something that looks so good either. 
it tends to be a garment I feel like I don't understand. I feel like it tends to drag somebody's outfit down and yet they're so, so popular. I don't mean to hate on anybody who loves them and certainly most people look much better in them than I do. I'm going to put it in not even if I owned it because I definitely wouldn't wear it even if I had it. All right, I have a weird one and I'd love to hear what you think about this one, the trains. And I've seen this a lot on the skirts. I feel like they can be done so it might be a little bit practical to wear. A part of me is feeling like these are so dramatic and I love it. They're really, really extra, but also they're really, really impractical. And when would you ever wear that? And I've also seen like some of the skirts have a train that is like semi, it's not like completely hitting the ground. So you do get a little bit of that effect of just a panel flying off. I think that's kind of cool. And obviously we did have the Prada mini skirt that was so popular last year. I mean, popular on Instagram. I never ever saw anybody wear that in real life, but that had a train and it looks amazing, but mm, let me know. Would you wear it? And I don't mean that as in like, do you think it looks good? I mean, would you actually wear it? And where would you go? I'd love to hear it. I'm actually gonna put this in. I love it on other people because I would love to see somebody wear this in real life. Sticking with skirts, I can't understand that this trend is coming back, but skirts over pants, people like this. And I, I just have this feeling that it must be young people who don't remember seeing Disney Channel stars wearing mini skirts over their low waist jeans. And like, I, I don't get it. Why is this coming back? <sighs> Here's the thing. So if you're wearing a skirt, it's great. You have lots of freedom, ventilation, it looks cute. But then you have a pair of trousers underneath. Now you have none of the ventilation, you don't have the freedom of a skirt because you're having trousers underneath, you have an extra garment on top. I, 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 I don't understand why have you, have we just run out of options? If this is something you wear, let me know, help me understand why this is a thing because I just feel like it looks just as weird today as it did back in the early 2000s. I didn't wear it then either. I think I'm actually gonna put this in absolutely not. Let's get to a trend that I can finally put into the love category and that is all of the beautiful tailoring and lots of the loose and unstructured tailoring. Obviously we saw a lot of the oversized blazers last year. I have worn them a ton. I love them. I will keep wearing them. I'm really happy to see this trend continue. I feel like it's such an easy and standard thing to say on YouTube that a blazer is a classic timeless piece and they are but let's not forget that the preferred or trendy shape of a blazer does change so I just want to kind of keep that as a caveat as well. It's not that many years ago that the trend for blazers were to be double-breasted and fitted and kind of like having a little bit of that extra hourglass shape to them. But overall, I love all the loose tailored suits. It's just so relaxed. It's much easier to style them, I think. They look more casual, more, you get much more of that cool girl effect. I love this. It's going in the love category for sure. Let's talk about another shoe trend, the ballet flats. And these started to become quite popular in 2022. I have not bought a pair yet. I would pay more attention to how they fit because I often feel like a ballet flat can be quite unsupportive of the foot. They're also kind of part of this whole ballet aesthetic. It's something we see a few ballet inspired pieces and even like the sheer trend can be a little bit ballet inspired. I think they are beautiful trends and I think they make really great accents even though the whole sort of like complete ballet core ballet aesthetic might not be something that's really wearable I think it's beautiful to have these kind of like hints of it I think that is a great way so I am putting this in I would wear because I definitely would another trend I'm feeling kind of a little bit conflicted about and that is the 3d florals trend I mean yes Florals always come back in some way or another, but I definitely feel like we can take this as a trend because the 3D floral, if you haven't seen it, it's quite, it's different. I personally started seeing this pop up on Instagram late last year where a lot of people are wearing these 
chiffon e something roses or faux floral and they're kind of like either tied around your wrist as a corsage they're tied around the neck it's never something i could pull off that's not for me at all as long as they like it that's fine i don't feel like that's for me but then oh my goodness I saw these floral appliques when they're like creating texture on a dress. It's so beautiful. I love this. I think this is gorgeous and a fantastic way of interpreting that trend. And then obviously you saw these hyper realistic florals on the runway. Obviously these are works of art. I think they're really, really fun. And I never expect to ever see anybody wear anything like this not even these pieces but anything that literal of an interpretation so i'm feeling again really really conflicted about this trend maybe i put this in a hit or miss because i feel like that's what it is all right i don't even know if this fully classifies as a trend yet but i've seen it it's disturbed me we're gonna talk about it the yellow wash denim this was a memory that i didn't even remember having but this was so popular when I was a very young teenager and why? It looks so dirty, absolutely not. So I, that's the category they're going to go into. I'd love to hear what you think though, because I was kind of reminded of how awful I think these look. I kind of forgot. I didn't even think about it back, th back then when I wore them. And now I just think, what, why, why? Why? I'm almost through my little list here, but let's talk a little bit about color. And I feel like I just want to declare a sort of blanket. I love all of the colors this year. I really got into all the green that was really popular last year. And we're seeing a lot of green this year as well. Maybe more in that like lighter spring green, even lime green. I'm going to stick with the more deep and saturated greens for me because it just looks better on me. A color trend has much more longevity than a lot of the very specific things that are easier to kind of pin down as one specific point in time. And I noticed that I don't have as many outfit possibilities usually when I have colorful items. So there is something to consider but for me, it's worth it to have a few colorful items because I'm just having a lot more fun. There are always so many trendy colors, but electric blue is really, really strong. And it's such a gorgeous color. I love this color. Oh, it just looks good in everything. It looks good in a dress. It looks good in a suit. It looks good in a scarf, even like smaller accessories. If you feel like you look better in the more pastel version of these, I would not hesitate to include that instead. You only add colors that you actually feel like you look good in. I feel like the key to really nailing trends is to know your own preferred colors and cuts and personal style so you know how many of them you actually don't need in your wardrobe at all. It just makes the process of adding these trends a lot more selective and curated. We're seeing a lot of leather that is also not new. I love leather. The leather pieces I have added, I know this is a little bit controversial because I prefer real leather. I have real leather jackets and items that I've had in my wardrobe for many many years and they just last so well. So these are pieces I never get rid of. I kind of want to put it into the love category because I love the look of like a leather dress, a leather skirt, a leather jacket, a leather trench coat. And I also feel like these pieces have a lot of longevity to them, unless you're also adding in a lot of these other trends. If you're adding fringe or colors or some of these like novelty concepts into your leather jacket, that it does not necessarily mean it's as timeless. I definitely feel like the leather trend is something we've seen for the past few seasons as well. And it's something I will love and feel really, really comfortable wearing once, if, it, let's be real, if the trend ever dies down. I could talk about shag coats, uh, but let's end it on a high note. I've talked for so long. I've ranked so many trends. I did not use all the categories. Let me know if I'm the only one feeling kind of disconnected from trends recently. As you can probably see from my ranking, there are a lot here that I'm not 
particularly keen on. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you like the video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!